What's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. A little bit more Pico CTF. This challenge is called Where Are the Robots for 100 Points. It has 6,929 solves currently at the time of recording. The challenge prompt says, Can you find the robots? And we're given a link here and another port that we could access it if we would like to. I'm going to use that port one because that way I think the way you'll find the solution is a little bit more native as to how you normally track it down on a web page. So this is referring to robots.txt, which is the notion of a web page might be trying to hide some specific other web pages or a website might be hiding other pages from search engines and internet crawlers and bots like Google or some other things that might try and cache stuff for, for search results and that kind of thing. Um, I've covered this more than plenty of times with uh, other videos. There is a little bit of an introduction and some more information about what this file actually is if you want to do more reading about it um, other than my quick snappy explanation, but normally it's at forward slash robots.txt. It's the very root of the web page and just going there and listing out what user agents may or may not be able to access these other files. Thing is, the robots.txt file is always visible to the end user, so if it's trying to hide some pages, you can still track that down as the user here. So I'm going to go to forward slash robots.txt, and you can see this will allow or disallow any user agent, so any kind of browser, to this page here, forward slash E0779. Um, that might be different on your side. The port numbers might be different. Again, Pico's really good about making this all dynamic. But there is our flag. Simple as that. Congrats, you found the robots. Here it is. That's your flag. We can go ahead and submit this if we wanted to. But I'd like to showcase Katana solving this just a little bit. Again, I'm going to use that link here. And let's make a directory where are the robots. Let's CD that. And I'm going to activate Katana's environment. So Katana and bin activates. Now I can run Katana just like a command. I'll set the flag format Pico CTF. Regular expression, so period, asterisk, question mark to make it lazy with matching anything inside. Tack A for auto, and we'll just give it that link. So it will go ahead, initialize, and track it down through that robots.txt that it would have found for us. So there's our flag automatically thrown into our uh, clipboard for us. So we'll paste that in here, and let's finish that. Mark that as complete. Cool. All right, now let's move on to one more challenge because that was pretty quick and simple. This one is also pretty quick and simple. This one's called So Meta for 150 points in the forensics category. It says, find the flag in this picture. We're given a download link. Let's go ahead and W get that. Let's make directory So Meta. Hop over there. And now we have this Pico image that's simply, looks like the logo from 2017, I think so. Pico CTF 2017, that's all that picture really has in there. If you were to run strings on it and do normally what you'd wanted to, okay, I guess it's also visible in the strings. That makes sense. What you'll note here is that it's actually being included in an artist metadata segment there. So if we were run a tool like EXIF tool, you should be able to actually see that in its segmented and specific actual metadata tag there. There it is displayed. Um, Katana will obviously be able to find this if you wanted to fire that up as well, because it's just in there. If you don't have EXIF tool, trying to type it in on Ubuntu should give you like the lib Perl metadata EXIF thing that you can install that package on. And we could simply fire up Katana. Katana, again, I'll use that Pico CTF flag format. And tack A. We can give it this download link nice and easy, because it will go ahead and auto download that for us. It will run strings and EXIF tool and it tracks it down real, real nice. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys in the Discord server. There are a ton of smart people in there, much smarter than me, and they're all about CTF, cybersecurity, and the good stuff. So see you in the next video.